crossfire but at the same time Lozi was having the heavier tanks available to go for some aggressive moves and increase the pressure push the enemies back into their own spawn crossfiring them from so many different angles that it was impossible for bps to hide in any secure spot that's right yeah, I mean, we do see the replay here, and what I really want to see is how that double Fosh B, uh, sorry, Fosh 155 still managed to have such a big impact. They got spotted very, very early on that rotation and took a beating, but somehow staying alive, managing uh, to yeah punish, as we do see here, Marmalade not really having a good time. Yes, Jen is going to get the kill on towards Ghost, but a little is it going to matter because, I mean, the team together in red here taking all three caps, that was crucial. Yeah, absolutely. The cap management in the later stage of the game is so important. In the best case, you can get the kills and the caps, but often it's enough to just get the caps only. Mostly that already leads to much better positioning and enemies having to go back for the caps later on then, which is not an easy task, even if you're having some light tanks on the field. Definitely Lozi just doing the better jobs in terms of map control in this game here. That moment of Soviet power <laughs> in the end of <laughs> this match <laughs> when I7 is bouncing time. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that must have been an absolutely unfortunate pen roll there right. because I believe it did hit the lower plate. Yes, it was angled, but yeah. <laughs> Not that it mattered, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah. the next map we are going to play is Molin Dyke, and that was the pick from BPS. Would it be a beautiful map that will bring them one more point? No, one more, just the first point. We'll see. And Molendijk, a map that is very symmetrical, so, so it's just a very nice tournament map. No one is at a disadvantage from the start on. BPS has picked this map, therefore the enemies were able to choose the spawn, but it doesn't really matter here. Most teams are hiding towards the middle and the A area, but of course also some C pushes are very much possible here. It is though still important to secure that B cap to make sure the enemy is not going to be able to take that for free, as just a double cap pressure from the start on would be a huge disadvantage to come back from. Now BPS on their map pick looking to pick up the first round and they're coming in with double bat.